viewers, my name is Kara. I don't know why I bothered changing my shirt for this video. I'm recording multiple videos today, so I try to do something to make each one look different because I'm going to be posting them at different times, and if I'm just wearing the same thing, sometimes people are like, she really likes that shirt. So I changed into this shirt that I really like, and you can't see it in this frame. So it's this. It's cute. I like it. It reminds me that this too shall pass. And everything is just a phase. As the, as the moon continues to change, so does everything else in life. As the wheel turns, you cannot stop the wheel from turning, but you can stop yourself from getting run over by it. This is going to be kind of a fun vlog, I guess. I don't know. I haven't done a silly vlog in a while. Just kind of doing whatever. I already have bloopers for this, probably. But today, I want to talk about a thing. I'm probably actually gonna do a blog post more in depth about this of like my answers and my thoughts about this question but because I've been coming up with a lot of things recently that I want to talk about but I don't want to make a video about so I think I'm gonna start blogging more again so make sure that you the link is always in the description to my videos it's thewitchystuff.blogspot.com check that out so I think I'll be trying to blog more, but it's always hard for me to decide what goes on the blog and what goes on a vlog in the videos. So I think for today what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of talk about my ideas of some definitions of these words and kind of just the thought process I've been going through recently and like ask you some questions. And we're going to think about some stuff. And then on the blog, I will actually answer what I have been thinking recently. Okay, so I want to talk about being a witch and being a priestess, and what the hell do those words mean? And are they the same? And are they interchangeable? No. <laughs> the answer is no. So, spoiler. Okay, that's the video, guys. That's, it's done. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, so, in the past week or so, there was one day that I was feeling, like, really low energy and really down, and I was just like, I just want to curl up and go back to sleep. So instead, I got out my phone and went on Twitter, because there's always a lot of really good articles being shared by Patheos Pagan, and sometimes The Wild Hunt, and whatever, the people I follow, share awesome articles, everyday feminism, blah blah blah. So I was reading a bunch of articles that had been shared by some witchy and pagan sources, and it just so happened that all of these articles I read that day, and all of the articles were from, like, that day or within two to three days prior had been written, you know, just recently. So there, this is all in the past week. Everything that was coming up was about priestesses and priestessing and different types of priestesses. And it got me thinking about something that I've actually been wondering for a while, but I hadn't wondered about it in those words, which is, I know I'm a priestess, right? I am a priestess, noun, I priestess, verb. This is a thing that I do, it's part of my path, I am a priestess, I priestess for people at times, I have done priestessing work, and part of the work of priestessing is like leading and facilitating ritual, you know, being a leader, and stuff like that. So that part, I definitely get. But beyond that, a priestess is also like a, also, also like a devotee of a certain deity, or, you know, someone who is, you know, a priestess in a temple, is like, you know, like the Vestal Virgins were priestesses because they tended the flame, and things like that. So, and all these articles were about like, oh, this is an interview with this person who is a voodoo priestess, and this is the kind of work she does. And this is an interview with a person who is a water priestess, and spirit guided them to create a water altar and do work with this altar every single day and their work is to heal the waters of the world and they also do other work as a witch but they consider themselves a water priestess because that is the altar that they are priestessing like that is the tending that they are doing that is the devotion that they have that is their like daily practice and the thing that they give to the world is through healing waters and it got me thinking well it didn't get me thinking but it gave me the words to continue thinking about something that I've already been thinking. I just think a lot. In case you didn't know, I, I think a lot about a lot of things. So anyway, the thought is, what the heck am I a priestess of? I know I'm a priestess, and I do priestessing work. Am I a priestess of anything? Because there are deities that I have closer connections to than others. But, short answer is, I don't know if I'm a priestess of any deities right now because I don't have daily devotion practices. I don't even have weekly devotion practices. It's not that kind of relationship at this time. 
so that's not a thing I do. But there are kind of like, there are types of things that come up in life that I find myself priestessing for people a lot. And moments and just like types of things going on in people's lives that I find myself acting as priestess to help them through a lot. So some of what I'm going to be talking about on the blog is kind of like how these recurring things have come up and kind of the types of situations that I find myself priestessing. Because that leads me to think about, you know, like, well, am I a priestess of this thing? Is this my thing? Is this the thing that I am devoted to? I said that thing a lot just then, and I apologize. Is this the situation that I am devoted to, that I am a priestess of? Like, when this comes up, it's like, yep, I'm your girl, that's my work, that's what I do. So that's what I'm going to be exploring in the blog. In association with that, and also, I'm sorry, they're mowing the lawn outside my door, and now they're blowing the grass into my patio all over my plants. Kind of associated with the priestess thing is the witch thing. I'm also a witch. I don't believe that all witches are priestesses. Not all witches do priestessing work. And flippity-flop, I don't think, necessarily, that all priestesses are witches. I don't know any priestesses who aren't witches right now in my life, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Because this kind of also gets into the witchcraft is about the craft and the practice, but it's not just a practice, it's also a religion in itself. But yeah, you know? So I'm just not sure if there are any people who do priestessing work who are not also witches or who don't, I mean, I know there are people who don't identify as witches. That's not what I'm talking about. There are plenty of people who could be considered witches who don't identify with that word, and that's fine, that's their journey. But for me, I am a witch, I'm also a priestess, I consider those things different work, okay? So like the regular spellcraft that I do, the folk magic stuff that I do, just my general like herbs and crystals and blah de blah that's witchy stuff, for sure. And also, the priestessing work that I do, I do as a witch, but I consider it kind of a different level. I don't know, it's hard to describe, I guess. But there was definitely a time where I was just a witch. I just did my witchy stuff, my practice, my crystal healing, my pendulum work, my energy work, whatever, but I was not priestessing. I did not begin priestessing until a couple few years ago or so, and learning more about what that work means to me. So, kind of the questions that I want to ask you all are, what do you think when you hear the term priest or priestess as it relates to paganism and witchcraft and stuff like that? What do you consider the job of a priest and priestess? Because when we're talking about, for example, traditional Wicca of an initiatory variety, you become a priest and priestess when you're initiated to a certain level, and then the high priest and priestess are the ones who are leading that actual coven. So that's kind of a very specific, these are the people who lead, and it might be like these are the people who are qualified to teach and pass on the tradition and so that might be a way that you think of it or it might be something else so it might be for example being a priestess of this specific deity a devotee and yeah you know what I'm saying it might be that it might be like the woman who's a water priestess who was guided to do this work and this is her spiritual work like this is her main body of work she does other things but this is her main thing she is a water priestess she priestesses the water, that is her spiritual thing, her work to then bring to the rest of the world and heal the waters. And this voodoo priestess is a priestess of a specific tradition of voodoo, so that probably has a definition within it of what constitutes a priestess. So think about what, a, what being a priestess means to you, what a witch means to you, or however you identify. If you don't identify with the word witch, also, I hope you've already, like, journaled and thought about that, like, what do you think which means? Why do you or don't you identify with that word? Why do you or don't you think that fits you? Why you do or don't like it? Stuff like that. If you haven't yet, definitely journal about that. If you're looking for a blog prompt or a video idea, there you go. You got it. And also, kind of the overlap. Do you think that all priestesses are witches or magic practitioners? blah, 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 which that'll come from what do you think these words mean and who are these people and what do they do. But also, if you consider yourself a priestess or a priest of your tradition, are you a specifically a priest or priestess of a particular thing? Or do you just overall 
priestess. You just do that kind of work. And maybe not anything super specific. So, those are the things to think about. And I am going to go to the library, upload my Pagan Perspective video for the week. Currently, the day that is today is the 12th, the 13th of June, 2017. And I recorded two other videos today for my personal channel, so I don't know if you'll be seeing this one today or next week. I'm going to be scheduling whatever the next one is for the following week. So I'm going to go do all that work. I'm going to do some blogging, so it's already up. I'm going to do a lot more hand gestures, because this is how I talk. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.